So guys, yung first problem natin, um, there was 5 8 of a pie left in the fridge. Daniel ate 1 fourth of the leftover pie. How much of the pie did he have? So, anong hinahanap dito? Ang hinahanap dito ay ang 1 fourth of 5 8. So, uh, para ma-visualize nyo ito, gumawa ko dito ng isang rectangle at hinati ko sa 8 equal parts, which represents yung ating pie. So, kukulayan ko yung part na natira o yung leftover pie natin, which is 5 8. Okay? So, sabi dito, Daniel ate one-fourth of the leftover pie. So, ang gagawin natin ay hahatiin pa ulit natin um, itong pie into four equal parts pa ulit. Okay. So, sabi dyan, Daniel ate one-fourth of the leftover pie. So, again, itong rectangle, ang kabuoan ng pie natin. Itong uh, violet, ang ating leftover pie. At para i-represent naman yung one-fourth of the leftover pie na kainain ni Daniel, ay kukulayan ko siya ng red. So, ayan. Ito yung portion na kinain ni Daniel at ito yung hinahanap na ating word problem. So, um, para ma-visualize natin dyan, ang, ang naka, uh, nagawa ko dito ng rectangle. So, paano natin na-answeran yan? So, bilangin natin yung equal portion na nakain ni Daniel. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this will be our numerator. So, 5 is going to be our numerator. At ang denominator natin ay ang equal parts ng buong pi. So, paano natin kukunin yun? All we have to do is multiply yung length sa width. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have 8. Tapos, 1, 2, 3, 4. Multiply by 4. So, that's going to be 32. So, ang sagot is Daniel ate 532 of the pi. So, paano mo naman gagawin yan sa equation? So, remember guys na ang of is also equivalent, equivalent to multiplication. So, para makuha natin yan, ang gagawin lang natin, 1 fourth multiply by 5, 8. So, this uh, would be, para sa akin, ito yung operation sa fraction na very easy. Multiplication. Kasi all you have to do is multiply numerator sa numerator and denominator sa denominator. So, 1 times 5 equals 5 and 4 times 8 equals 32. Okay? So, as you can see, meron the same yung naging answer natin visually at saka uh, sa pagmumultiply ng fraction. So, the answer would be Daniel 8, 532 of the pi. Next problem natin, Olivia took 8 glasses and poured juice from the pitcher. The capacity of each glass is 3 tenths liter. If there was enough juice for 6 glasses, how much juice was there? So, ang hinahanap naman dito sa second problem natin ay 3 tenths of 6. Kasi gusto nilang malaman kung gaano karaming juice ang kakailanganin para makapuno ng 6 glasses. Eh, nakalagay dito na bawat isang glass ay kayang mag, uh, ay uh, pwede kang maglagay ng 3 tenths of a liter. So, para uh, kunin natin ang sagot, so, all we need to do is multiply 3 tenths into 6. 
So since 6 is a whole number, the denominator is always 1. Because 6 divided by uh, 1 is equals to 6. So, in mo multiply lang natin, again, denominator to denominator and uh, numerator to numerator. So, 3 times 6 equals 18. And 10 times 1 equals 10. So, as you can see, itong answer natin ay pwede pa natin gawin into simplified form. All we need to do is find the factors. So, ano ang factors ng 18 at 10? So, 18, that's 9 times 2, equals 18. And then, 10, ang factors niyan ay 5 times 2. So, all we need to do is cancel yung may parehong value. At makukuha na natin ang simplified form. So, ang simplified form natin ay 9 fifths. Pero, ang 9 fifths ay improper fraction. Ano ibig sabihin ng improper fraction? Improper fraction, ibig sabihin ang numerator as, ay mas malaki sa denominator. So, ang gagawin natin ay i-divide natin ang 9 sa 5. Remember, pag, uh, pag fraction Always ang operation na gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung equivalent na mixed number is division. So, all we need to do is divide 9 sa 5. So, 9 divided by 5, 1. 1 times 5, 5. And then, 9 minus 5 equals 4. So, ang ating sagot ay 1. And 4, 5th. So, ito yung whole number natin. Ito yung numerator. Ito yung denominator. So, ang sagot sa, um, sa second problem natin is, there was 1 and 4 fifths liter of juice. So, yun yung kailangan dami ng juice para makapuno ng 6 glasses. Okay? Alright. Yung third problem naman natin na kalagay, Pam baked some cupcakes for her friends. She baked 24 cupcakes. Each cupcake is 215 pound. If she packs 6 cupcakes in each box, what is the weight of each box? So, si Pam daw nag-bake siya ng 24 Cupcakes in total. Now, kada isang cupcake, ito ay tumitimbang ng 215 pound. Ngayon, kung daw naglagay si Pam ng anim na cupcake sa isang box, kaano kabigat ang isang box? So, ano ang hinahanap dito? Ang hinahanap dito ay 215 of 6. So, again, since 6 is a whole number, the denominator is always 1. So, again, multiply numerator to numerator. 6 times 2 equals 12. And 15 times 1 equals 15. So, the, um, the answer can still be simplified. All we need to do is get the factors of 12, which is 3 times 4. And the factors of 15, which is 3 times 5. And then, we cancel yung number na may parehong value. So, cancel, cancel. At ang matitira ang ating simplified form. So, the answer to number 3 would be the weight of each box is 4 fifth pound. Okay, so yung pang-apat na problem naman natin, according to a recipe, each batch of pancake mix can make 12 pancakes. Kathy is making three batches for a brunch party. If each batch needs 712 cups of milk, how much milk does she need in total? So, ang hinahanap naman natin sa problem number four, 
would be um, 7 12 of 3. So, 7 12 cups of milk at gumawa siya ng 3 batches para sa brunch party. So, ang hinahanap natin, gaano karaming um, gatas yung kailangan para sa 3 batches. So, again, since this is a whole number, the denominator is number 1. Multiply numerator to numerator. That's 7 times 3 equals 21. And 12 times 1 equals 12. And then, kunin lang natin yung um, factors of 21 and 12. So, we can get the simplified form. So, that's 3 times 7 equals 21. And 3 times 4 equals 12. Tapos, ikakansa lang natin ang may parehong value. So, we can get the simplified form. So, ang simplified form natin ay 7 fourths. But since 7 fourths is an improper fraction, meaning mas mataas yung, new, yung value ng numerator sa denominator, so what we need to do is just divide 7 divided by 4. So, 7 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 equals 4. And 7 minus 4 equals 3. So, ang answer natin dito ay 1 and 3 fourths. So, 1 is going to be your whole number. 3 is the numerator. And 4 is going to be the denominator. So, ang sagot would be, so, how much milk does she need in total? So, she needs... 1 and 3 fourth cups of milk. Okay? Okay, so yung next problem natin, there are 7, 8 kilograms of salt in the kitchen. Mrs. Jackson used 2 15th of the salt when she was preparing dinner. How much salt did she use? So, same procedure kung paano natin um, sinolve yung first problem natin kanina. So, what we need to find out is 2 15th of 7 8. Kasi 2 15th yung ginamit ni Mrs. Jackson na salt nung nagluto siya ng dinner. At meron tayong kabo ang 7 8 kilograms of salt sa kitchen. So, what we need to do is multiply numerator sa numerator and denominator sa denominator. So, 2 times 7 equals 14. And 15 multiply um, to 8 is equivalent to 120. And since pwede pa natin tong is simplified, just look for the factors of 14, which is 2 times 7. At ang factors naman ng 120 is 2 times 60. So we will just cancel the um, numbers that has the same value at makukuha na natin ang ating simplified form, which is 7 over 60. So, ang answer natin sa number 6, how much salt did she use? So, 760 of salt was used by Mrs. Jackson.